I was never an athlete. I didn't even know how to be an athlete. I barely passed uh, high school gym. When I started to get a little bit older, and I'm talking about 48, 49, some friend of mine challenged me to a 50 mile bike ride and I said, that's impossible to do. Nobody does more than 10. And I said, I'll try to do the 50. This guy who ultimately became a friend of mine came up behind me and said, what are you doing? And I said, I'm training to do a bike ride. And he invited me to do team and training, which was right after my wife's cousin died of leukemia. About 13 years after I had my first team and training event, my wife was diagnosed with cancer. She was adorable and we did everything together and when she died, it was very devastating to me. She went through a lot of chemo, a lot of radiation and the support of our friends through team and training really got me to a point where I could at least not have the pain every single day that I had through her death. One specific experience that I had in Chicago, Stacy was a running partner of mine, and this lady comes running out to us for no apparent reason. She points to me, and she points to Stacy and says, you helped save my life through the work that you do for team and training. We both just stopped in our tracks. We looked at each other, and tears came to our eyes. We just couldn't believe that because we're running this marathon that it affected people that we had no idea in Chicago. And it just was very, very heartwarming. So I know it's early in the morning, crack of dawn, and we're ready for a good 20 miler. Who's ready for that? Yeah. As we run today, think about those in your heart that we run for. One, two, three. Go team! Go team! It's about 11 years ago, my wife went to a new doctor in Massapequa. She said, well, maybe she should go get checked out. So I went to her doctor, and he said, oh, your white blood cell count's a little high. So he says, I'm just going to send you to the oncologist just to check. I went into a waiting room where there was, you know, I came to realize everybody has cancer here. And she comes and tells me, oh, you know, you have leukemia. The best thing that doctor told me was to call Leukemia Lymphoma Society. I just felt a relief that someone else on the planet had this CLL diagnosis and I was not the only one out there. By chance, they were having one of the kickoffs for team and training. I said, oh, I'd like to go. And the cycle team was there and the run team and the triathlon team and they had a speaker that was a leukemia survivor that talked. That started me exercising and feeling good. And then I joined the other teams and I did all the events we had. Until now, I haven't had any treatment other than exercising with team and training. It has been my medicine. Once you're a member of team and training, you end up being a member of team and training for life. It's a healthy obsession that I'm helping other people. Picture yourself about to drown and somebody comes along and plucks you out of the water. That's kind of the way I feel about everyone that raises money to help me. Without LS and team and training, without people volunteering, asking for donations, I, I wouldn't be here. The best gift I think I give my kids is the gift of running. They'll stay strong throughout their lives, I hope. I wanted to get them involved with team and training because I figured if my diagnosis went sideways, that they would be taken care of by my teammates. I do this as a dedication to my wife and to help other people to know that we are a community, we need to stick together, and it's critical that we stay that way people on the team that come out that fundraise because they're just great people. You know, it's a special person that can do that.
These people give hope, and I know it gives other people who have these cancers the strength to say, somebody is helping me. LLS is behind all of us, and I'm proud to be part of that. Anytime you wear that team and training singlet, people thank us for what we do. They recognize who we are, and I'm proud to wear the shirt.